Figures of speech are an essential component to the way humans communicate. For instance, when we refer to a person as a suit, we likely aren't talking about a piece of business attire. Instead, we're likely talking about a business executive or FBI agent. But at times, we can become so accustomed to a manner of speaking that we don't notice their significance. So resources like Bollinger's Figures of Speech help us to identify these devices in the biblical text. For instance, here Bollinger lists metonymy as a figure of speech, by which one name or noun is used instead of another, to which it stands in a certain relation. If we scroll down a bit, we find John 3, 34, For God giveth not the Spirit by measure to him. Bollinger explains that the Spirit is not what God gives to the Christian, but instead the Spirit stands in place of gifts and operations produced by the Spirit. Now, what if you want to find everywhere Bollinger identifies a form of metonymy in the biblical text? With the figures of speech data set, we've made all the figures that Bollinger discusses in his textbook searchable, and we can easily find these by expanding the table of contents. Here we see metonymy, metalepsis, synecdoche, and more. Now, let's open a new search window, set our search to Bible, and input label, figures of speech, where name equals metonymy in quotation marks, and enclose the entire search query in curly brackets. Remember, we took the term metonymy from the table of contents and can easily substitute it with any figure of speech within this resource. This search produces over 1,500 results. To narrow down our results, Let's look for where the word scepter appears within a verse marked as metonymy. Simply add the word scepter, followed by the operator within in all caps. Instead of 1,500 results, we only have four. In each of these cases, the scepter represents power or stands in place of the ruler intended to wield that power. <laughs>